this is a very cool experimental drawing technique um, that I was lucky to learn from Los Angeles artist uh, Justin Bua. He does a really cool thing where he is working with both hands at the same time to create portraits. Now, when Boo is doing this, he's working in charcoal and that's awesome and he gets amazing results. He's been doing this for a long time. When you're doing this at home, you could work with a couple of different kinds of crayon. You could work with chalk pastels. Um, you need something that gives you a little bit of drag as you do this. And though Bua does it all in, in um, just regular vine charcoal, we're going to do this in either complementary colors. So in this case, the example you see here, I've used red and green, or you could do it in analogous colors. So for the one that I'm going to show you right now, we're going to do it in orange and fuchsia. Um, make sure that you also have some sort of fixative uh, when you're done with this, if you are using pastels, because pastels have a tendency to travel very quickly. When you're doing this also, you will find depending on whether you're left or right-handed, that one of your drawing sides is probably going to be stronger than the other. Part of the interesting experience with this is getting both hands moving concurrently and trying to strengthen your weaker hand. So in my case, I'm left-handed, so I'm much more confident. I'm going to keep building skill with my right hand. Either way, you're going to do everything together. This is a very quick process. It doesn't take much time to do. Um, you do, it, I have found that it works better if you are working on a large piece of paper. And I've taped down my paper just because my experience has been that when I'm working with both hands at once, I have a tendency to uh, get kind of messy, get kind of crazy. So what we're going to do is I've got two pieces of the same color charcoal here, or same color pastel, excuse me, and I am going to put one in one hand and one in the other. I'm going to start with the eyebrows, and again, we're working both sides at the same time. Come down into the nose into the middle of the nose, into the mouth area. Just like that. This does not have to be perfect. Remember, you're gonna do layers of work here. I'm going to add in some eye idea here. And I'm gonna add in my ears. Remember your proportions. Cheekbones and a face and the start of hair. So that's my first pass. I'm going to come back with another color here. I've got, in this case, I've got oranges. And I'm gonna go over the same thing again, sort of adding to it. If you need to blow off some of your mark, go ahead and do it. Or brush it off if you have that. And I'm going to start adding another layer on top. As you're doing this, you'll find your brain is working in a really interesting way here. It's having to process two different things. Normally, our brain doesn't have to work quite this hard, but this is a great exercise. You can make some really cool art or you can just develop your skill. 
you could add more color on top of that if you want. Um, I am going to add a little bit of yellow just as a highlight here. And just like that, you have an experimental drawing technique that ends up with a pretty cool portrait. You could, of course, use source material and draw from an actual um, image, or you can just add to it as you're going. The choice is yours. Again, make sure that you apply fixative to this. Um, it will definitely shift on you. Um, once you fix it is, is dry, if you have taped down your edge, that's the time to remove your tape to sign off on your piece of awesome experimental drawing. I hope you enjoy this project. I am Mrs. Andrews.